it's time for IDK where we learn how to do something new. And if you love pretzels, listen up because we're going to learn how to shape and salt them ourselves today. This is very exciting. We are joined by Chef Pete Fiosni, the executive chef at Rhine House. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. This Thanks is very exciting. You guys These ready to make like some pretzels? The yes. largest pretzel Look at that. I've maybe <laughs> ever seen in my entire life. Amazing. Okay. And if all goes wrong, we could still bake it and it should Absolutely. still be okay, right? It'll okay. Be fine. So Rhine House has a location in Capitol Hill and Leavenworth, yep. and you offer authentic Bavarian food. So tell us about the spaces, what it feels um, like. It's a 12,000 square foot oh. space. It used to be a candy factory back in the 50s. <laughs> um, and we took it over and we just pretty much gutted the building, remodeled it, and uh, it's a really awesome space. We have bocce ball. We have five bocce ball courts. Oh my gosh. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and then uh, we make all of our pretzels in-house, all of our sausages. We make about 150 pounds of sausage almost wow. every day. Oh my gosh. Um, and about 200 pretzels every day. I was going to ask how many pretzels you <laughs> yeah. make in a day. Yeah. That's a lot of donuts. Well, we, do, we do about 90 of the large pretzels okay. and yeah, about 150 oh my to 200 God. of wow. the Well, small you're famous pretzels. for it now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing yeah. It right. So we're going to learn the art of shaping and salting these pretzels. Yep. So uh, what's the best way to go about it? We have some pre-made dough here. So I'll okay. give you each one okay. dough ball. Cool. Thank you. And the best way to start out is just with one hand, roll it okay. in the middle a little bit. All right. Okay. Oh, you're already better. <laughs> than <I am. laughs> and then, I don't know why I'm snorting when I laugh so much today, everybody. It's fine. And then once we get it to this stage, let's use both of our hands okay. and put some a decent amount of pressure and sort of pull your hands apart as well. Oh, you can do that quick. It's like and, you're a professional. And we kind of want to have some. Uh, it to come to kind of a little bit of a point at the end. Okay. And then <laughs> Mine's pointy at one. I am panicked at this point. <laughs> it's not doing what yours is doing. <laughs> Any okay. tips for us here? Yep, just a little bit more pressure. Okay. Yours is looking good down on the end. Okay. And are we supposed oh, to kind yeah. of pull away? Yep, it seems like yep. It's and do some outward pressure. Okay. Well. Those look great. Oh, That's a good start. Thank you. I'll take it. They're gonna be a little bit small, but. That's okay. All right. And once we get to this stage, you just give it a little twist. Oh, okay, okay. Woo, woo, woo. Just any which way? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, sort of. Sorry, then, I forgot what the end goal was. And then you give it a little was. press. How is that? It's a double twist. A double oh, twist? Yours is is that okay? And then, and then, and then again. Hold on. And then. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm getting help, okay. so. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to need that. So I do twist, and then what? Two twists and then Two twists, lay it down. Lay and it then, down. And then pull it back on pull itself. Pull it like that. And sort of cross it so it looks like this. How does that? That's kind of like Just that, like right? That. Yeah. Just like Perfect. that. Very nice. Pretzel. <laughs> yeah. It's going to okay. taste delicious. And do we salt before? We, we dip them. Okay. Oh, oh is that what is that? Or what yep. Is that? Um, usually we do it with a caustic soda in there, and that's what gives it that nice mahogany oh, on there. Soda? Yeah. Uh, like soda caustic, water? like lye, actually. Lye? Like, lye. Yeah, there's none in here, okay. just for, because I don't want you guys to get oh, a thanks. chemical burn. But, <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> but this will work, though. Okay. And then we just dip them in for a sec. Okay. And then if you want to grab one. Do, mm -hmm. I, do I just yep. dip it in yep. there right now? Dip it in there okay. As well. All right. And then pull it. Pull them out. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <gosh>. Perfect. <laughs> and then pull them out and put them on the baking sheet. Okay. You first. You first. Okay. <laughs> Mine's more of a lump. <laughs> That's Ooh. all right, though. Right? Oh, no. I ruined your pretzel. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. There. Sort of okay. All right. All right. Right. What well, makes it different makes it beautiful. There and then you we go. have some pretzel salt. If you want to sprinkle a little pretzel salt okay. on there, it's like a puff salt. Is that kind of uh, oh, to your taste? <laughs> yeah, we, we usually okay. load them up. You, oh, okay, you want it nice okay. and salty. You're nice usually and salty. drinking beer and oh, that's yeah. true. sausages that is with true. it. So you want, okay. you want some good salt in there. All right. Beautiful. And, yeah. you know, a good pretzel is never complete without the dipping sauces. Absolutely. Talk to us about your dipping sauces. Um, we have a couple ones here. We have the obatsta, which is like a Bavarian cheese spread. Ooh, it's yum. kind of like a... Um, like a uh, pimento cheese, but oh, Bavarian which style. I, don't love. I, like I do. We yeah. use uh, we use cream cheese, butter, Tillamook cheddar, oh, beer, yes. uh, paprika, beer? yep, shallots, nice. and that's about it. And then we we blend all that together, and that's a great di dipping sauce. And we also have a spicy honey mustard, Very which is too. just a, a really spicy Dijon and uh, clover honey. Can we try it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, awesome. There's some. Uh, 
some fresh baked ones okay. right there. Much better but. than what ours might look like. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll Wonderful. try this one. I want to try this one. Ooh, mm. she's thick. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. What do you think has wow. helped you guys stay in business for so long? Um, I think it's just uh, putting out good food and mm -hmm. just making a really fun environment. Mm -hmm. We do uh, we do a lot of like uh, events. We're great for sports. Go Kraken! Yeah. Um, so we have the we'll be showing the Kraken game. I think we have like 26 TVs now. What? Um, That's a blast. And we do have our outdoor patios open as well. So we mm -hmm. have a bunch of TVs out there. Another bocce ball court as well. So That's lots awesome. of room. You also host events. Do you have anything fun coming up? Um, we do a pig and pint um, mm -hmm. starting in the summer um, where we uh, roast a whole pig and then oh. we pair with a local brewery mm -hmm. and kind of do a little cross promotion with that. Um, that's usually every other week I think we do that. And then, you know, obviously soccer's a big thing for mm -hmm. us too. So World Cup always is a little crazy, but um, yeah. We're always doing, Amazing. yeah. We're always so doing fun. fun things, and then Friday and Saturday night, it's a great place to go party as well. So you do it all. Yeah, you yeah. do it all. Yeah. Daytime, nighttime, daytime, night. great time for great <laughs> place for kids. It's a big space, so there's kids can run around. Oh, be that's loud. Right. Oh, love yeah. to hear okay, it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chef Pete. Thank We've you. got a link with more info on Ryan House up on our website, fox13seattle.com/studio13live. And coming up, it's a little too hot to cook tonight, so 